Hey everyone, Tiger Tanaka here, and welcome back to another part of Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last part, we cleared the way to Diglett's Cave by waking up the Snorlax, and in this part, we're gonna go through Diglett's Cave. Now then, if you remember, Diglett's Cave connects Vermilion City to Pewter City, or Viridian City, depending on what priority you take first. And by the name, you can safely assume that Diglets are everywhere. Now, there's actually quite a few items around here. Like, there's one here. And we can use Rock Climb here later to get even more items, but unfortunately, we don't have Rock Climb at the moment, so we have to bypass all those for right now. Now one important tip you're going to want to know here is that you're going to need to cut to get to Pewter City, which luckily I have. I went ahead and ditched Ampharos for a few minutes so we could cut that tree down. But before we go to Pewter City, there's a few things we can get down here. There's uh, an Apricorn there if you want to get it. This guy will give you a Nugget. So yeah, another 5,000 Poké Dollars. Even further south, checkpoint here, and this is one of Professor Oak's aides. He will give you a Sacred Ash. That is a very rare item. It revives all fainted Pokemon at once. You can cut these trees down to take a shorter way back to Viridian if you want. But we'll be taking Viridian City through the normal way from Pewter City. I don't believe there's any hidden items here. No, there aren't. Okay then, so let's run all the way back up here and we'll cut that tree down so we can get to Pewter City. Pewter City is going to be a really easy gem for me to deal with. Just Lap Lapras is going to dominate. Right, and there's a bug catcher up there. We haven't faced one of them in a long time. If you walk in tall grass wearing shorts, do you get nicks and cuts? Possibly. I would expect a youngster to say something like that, though, not a bug catcher. And why do you have protect? Yet another trainer who has Protect for absolutely no reason. Just randomly has it on there to piss you off. Butterfree. Now he's gonna be fat. Okay. It's kinda sad that he's not faster after doubling his speed. Either that or it just shows how fast Probat is. Okay then, I guess Heracross will be useful in the gym too. Pewter City, and here's the Pokemon Center of course. Don't really need to heal though, because I didn't take any damage and I only used like three moves. Now there's a very important stop you want to make in Pewter City, if you're going to catch all the legendaries in the game. And it's this old man right here. Ah, you came all the way out here from Johto. That brings back memories. When I was young, I went to Johto to train. You remind me so much of what I was like as a young man. Here, I want you to have this item I found in Johto. And he will give you the Silver Wing and Heart Gold. This is the key to going to Lugia on the Seafoam Island or World Islands, not Seafoam Islands. If you're playing Soul Silver, he will give you the Rainbow Wing to go to Ho Oh on the uh, Clear Tower. You can get more Apricorns there. We definitely don't need to buy any more items. 
And here, they brought back the Pewter Museum. Which wasn't in the original gold, silver, and crystal, cause... I don't know, they just felt like getting rid of the door. Uh, this guy... Yes, if you have any fossils, this guy will revive them for you. You can find them in the ruins of Alf. Think... Yeah, I think you can break open rocks on certain days and you get certain, uh, fossils. Well, that's pretty much all the notable places in Pewter City, so... To the gym! And being this is the first gym in Kanto, the layout's gonna be really simple. You can even bypass the trainers here. Yes, I am ready. Right on. Please don't have warm drill. Okay, take down. And close combat will easily finish you. Hiker here. Okay. Golem! This thing could take a while to take down because... Okay. Ah! Fucking roar! Screw you! I hate roar. Especially when I have stat boosts. Okay, and that's all the gym trainers in this gym. So that was pretty easy. All that's left is the first gym leader in Kanto, Brock. Go ahead and save state here. You know, glitches. Wow, it's not often that we get a challenger from Johto. I'm Brock, the pewter gym leader. I'm an expert on rock type Pokemon. My Pokemon are impervious to most physical attacks. They'll have a hard time inflicting any damage. Come on! Show me your moves! Yeah, Brock being the first gym leader in Kanto is actually pretty tough. So he starts out with a Graveler, that shouldn't give you any trouble at all. In fact, Rock types in general shouldn't give you any trouble at all considering how often you fought them. Take physical attacks pretty well unless they're fighting or steal. So if you have one of those, you're good to go. Especially considering they resist rock. Onyx really isn't that good. I mean, it has a lot of defense, but its HP really hinders it from being a good physical wall. It has like no HP. Onyx is surprisingly fast, though. You know, for being a rock snake. Okay, I guess Onyx is his main Pokemon? Weird. Oh, to nose, Sandstorm. That actually increases rock, ground, and steel type Pokemon's special defense by one. Indirectly. It doesn't count as an actual stat boost, it's just a mechanic. Oh, a Heracross is sweeping his entire- Okay, Kabutops, we're definitely gonna have to switch. Uh, it's a rock water type. So if you have a ground- Well, I wouldn't recommend ground, because of the water factor, but... If you have an electric or a grass type, it's going down. Yay, Quick Claw! Screw your high speed, Kabutops! I have luck hacks on my side in this battle. Wow, that. Yeah, I guess that's the power of Sandstorm for you, and increased its special defense by one stage. Okay, this sucks. 
don't have anything that fully resists raw. Hmm. Well, guess I'll just let Amphi die here. Another turn of that sandstorm burnout in the process. Uh, Espeon might be faster, let's try it. Endure. Okay, so it's gonna live on with one HP no matter what. Probably means he's gonna full restore now. Yep. At least he has a point for doing that. With Endure, it lets his AI go into, hey, I have to use a full restore range. And the Sandstorm has finally subsided. Now my special attack should do more damage. Yep. His last Pokemon, I believe... No, it's Rhyhorn. Could've swore it was an Amistar. Whatever. Oh, he still has two left, that's why. You'd think he'd lead off with this, considering it's his weakest. Well, I guess it's debatable about which one's stronger, Rhyhorn or Graveler. Okay, there's the almost star. Uh, guess we'll just go out to Heracross. It's about all I have left that's good against almost star. It is also a rock water type. It's the other fossil you can get with Kabutops. <laughs> it itches. It itches. The itch for a battle. I know that feeling. Let's see, Almostar is pretty defensive, so I'm not surprised that did that little and Brine. Gonna want to be careful about that. Brine does double the damage if you're under half your health, so that's a really good finishing move. See if close combat can be taken out. I'm pretty sure it will, considering Brick Break's power compared to close combat, yeah. So there's Brock, that was pretty easy. I had to let someone die just to not get hit, but it worked out. Looks like you're the stronger one. Your Pokémon's power attacks overcame my rock-hard resistance. I was wondering when he was going to say that. You're stronger than I expected. Go ahead, take this badge. A boulder badge, yay! And we get the TM for Rock Slide. I, for some reason, I forgot that Rock Slide was a TM in this generation until a few days ago. Rock Slide's actually a good move. I'm debating whether or not to teach the Heracross, just for the type coverage and everything. Excuse me for a second. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Still have kind of a throat problem. I didn't feel like coughing in the video. Anyways, now that we've gotten through pretty much all of Pewter City and, uh... Beating the gym and everything, we can actually go east of Pewter City and go through Mount Moon. There's quite a few trainers along the way, but Mount Moon is gonna be the real stop here. Because, uh, there's actually something interesting there. And I'm not talking about the Clefairy stuff, either. So next time on Pokemon Heart Gold, we will attempt to go through Mount Moon. See you guys then.